uh, I had quite a scary, scary night last night. Um, Ach basically blacked out, was completely unresponsive and unconscious on me yesterday. Thank God for the Apple Watch, because if it wasn't for the Apple Watch, um, I wouldn't have been able to call an ambulance and then we had the paramedics here. So based on that, I think my advice would be to pop you up to hospital to get some bloods done. Now we can't force you, but I think just in the absence of knowing what your ECG looks like normally. Just... Then he went to hospital and it was, it was honestly just the scariest night in a long time. And that's suppose another thing that I wanted to talk about, about why we haven't just left immediately from Chichester. Atch has been on a um, emergency wait list for an MRI scan for a long time. And they called him in January and said that the MRI machines had broken at the hospital. So they're down to one machine, which is why it's taking longer. We can't leave Chichester, change our address and try and change hospitals and be back on the beginning of a wait list for this MRI. So yeah, that's why we're still in the area because it's, pro well, they said April. So hopefully we'll have his scan soon and we'll be able to just sort of like get some sort of diagnosis for what's going on with him and what's wrong. Um, the last thing you wanna do is move house, move address and then not have access, not, not have access to the NHS, but not be as far forward on the list as we have been waiting for since last year. So, yeah, last night with paramedics here, got his plumbing ECG scans here from when they were doing it and they were just like, yeah, there's something irregular with your heart, like you should come to hospital with us. And I was like, oh, can I come? And they were like, no, because um, of COVID you can't come. So I didn't, didn't go back and I didn't go in the ambulance. We had all our neighbors looking out their window, being nosy neighbors. It was so, I was just thinking like, please don't ask me questions, please don't ask me questions. Yeah, it's been a bit eerily quiet at home for the last half an hour since he left. And then well, I FaceTimed Joel because I was just like, oh my God, like, what the hell? Because we were, we were on the phone like an hour before this happened. And then he had to go to film an interview. Um, and then, then I, and then literally missed his call back. because we were like, talking an hour, called him back. And I was like, you're not going to believe what has just happened ambulance outside all the neighbors like keeping their bloody blinds open so they could have a nosy and see what was going on i'm just having a cup of tea to calm down and um i have just had another chocolate I'm gonna go find out what the situation is gonna take a very slow drive over to hospital and sit in the car park and wait for any news so yeah there's been like it's just been an eventful time i'm walking to the car and I'm filming because I don't like walking at night and part of me thinks if anything ever happens to me, then it's just better to always be filming. It's the first time driving a car that I've never driven before. Um, so I drove that to the hospital. Okay, I'm gonna try and familiarize myself with this car before I drive it and there's no rush. Everything's okay. I just need to figure out how to make my seat closer to the wheel because my legs are not this long. I was fairly calm, I was just nervous. I'm a nervous driver. Anyone who doesn't like driving, especially at night, will understand. So yeah, drove out to the hospital, waited around for ages for him to get picked up. I was just waiting and waiting, so I drove to the supermarket to take my mind off things and get things done. Did a supermarket shop and then I picked him up. Welcome back. Hey babe, thank you. Welcome okay. back, no problem. All right, that's your water. Oh, you brought some, Thank okay. You. Hi guys, I'm back in London. First time in what feels like forever. Joel and I need to film a video for a brand. So we're here together because it's been really, really hard doing the split screen videos. Um, so we're, we've decided that because this is the, this is our job, we are gonna be meeting up in person. Um, Michaela. Basically my dad has got his laser eye appointment top up today um, which is in London so we're gonna get an, an, a socially distant coffee together because you can't go inside any coffee shops yet but haven't seen him in ages so really looking forward to seeing my dad Joel and then getting my laptop hopefully fixed I'm really hoping they don't say they need to keep it overnight because obviously I don't live in London so it's a bit of a journey to get this fixed but it's, it's a really small issue hopefully it can be done straight away oh. 
I'm a little bit early, um, but yeah, I actually got a card for Joel and Lucy and loads of white chocolate. <laughs> so I hope they like that. But this is probably the most like normal London day um, that I've had in, yeah, probably about a year, actually. Can't remember the last time I did this. This is normal for England, just to see like a queen. Yeah. Like we don't really put the flag up, but we will put the queen up in yeah. our cars. And just your favorite member of the royal family, yeah. whoever it is. Mine would be Camilla. Really? Oh, because you've met her? <laughs> I've met her. She was nice, but no, I'd put the Queen up. Oh, lovely. <laughs> She's iconic. Is she? Right, let me get you something out. Got you a present, oh you gosh, two. You got me a present. Wow, Chez Bennett Wood. Oh, thank you so much. You know that says Shay, right? But yeah. Atch read it as Chez. Chez. I was like, you're so, like, what does not Chez with even it. What mean? House? Home, I think. Home. She. And then I got you. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god! Too much. I'm sorry. Are you joking? Yeah, don't look, don't look at the road, look at the sorry, road, at the but road. honestly. I can't, it's white chocolate. I love I've never tried that white chocolate Oreo. I know I saw it and I was like, oh, he's gonna like that. Thank you but so just much. try and ration yourself, yeah? Yeah, I'm I gyms are opening soon. I need to get in shape, ready for life opening up. Like, yeah, life. For the Boston up. trip, we have to get in shape. Are we gonna be <sighs> Are we going to be sunbathing in Boston? I think Probably we will. not. Well, really? We were sunbathing in Texas in January. Like You're right, we just do on. what we do, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we do. And everyone looks at us like we're mad, but Absolutely. we need some D. Vitamin D. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh we need my vitamin God. D. And we'll chat to you all in the comments. Yeah, we'll see you in the comments. See you for another video. Bye. Bye. So Come much on. better than split screen, isn't, isn't it, it? Joe? So it? much better. Back to Leah's vlog. Forgot to vlog any of Joel's house, but obviously it's all on Joel's channel. Yeah. So there's plenty of house stuff. Mm -hmm. You've got a lot to do, haven't you, Joel? A lot to do. And getting the balance between do we spend the money or do we save, save it? it? But yeah. You guys have got... Just write a list. Yeah, got I a need list? to. You got a notion? Have you got a notion? <laughs> I have got a notion, but not for the house. But yeah, priority list. I need that. So you're like, top priority is your flooring? Yeah, which will be done in a few weeks. Well done. I mean, it will be a different property next time you visit it, hopefully. It will feel more... Yeah tidy clean and fresh. it will just be the boxes will be gone and yeah. the carpet will be in and maybe you'll have done the walls by then yeah i hope so all right yeah. i'll hold be your accountability coach thank you leah no thank worries you. right now can i get an uber to the station please yeah sure <laughs> you. you're gonna tip me yeah i'm gonna okay. tip you thank you thank you darling oh just got into central london from joel's and uh yeah it's an absolute ghost town i Got to go to the Apple store now, and I accidentally booked the wrong appointment. So, um, yeah, I've booked in at Covent Garden instead of Regent Street. So, I'm gonna see if they can see me earlier because it's basically a direct clash with uh, meeting up with my dad for a coffee. Whoa, what a ghost town! There's hardly anyone here. Never seen, never ever seen Covent Garden this empty, apart from maybe like at 5 a.m. in the morning. I just tried my luck at the Apple store, see if they could get me in early. It was a no, I was far too early. So I have to wait until that 3.30 appointment, which is quite annoying. But for now, I'm, I'm really, really hungry. I'm gonna see what food is open. Um, <laughs> there is actually an amazing dim sum place around here. It's down here, actually. Um, oh, the, the ones with the custard buns. I might have footage on my phone of like, me basically having an orgasm over a custom bun. <laughs> Whoa, oh my gosh, I can't get over how, how quiet everything is. Um, I was trying to be super nice to the people at Apple because I know sometimes they can like bend the rules a little bit, get you in, but no, they weren't having any of it. So he was like, how early are you? I was like, over an hour? And he was like, no, he'd come back 10 minutes before. Right, it's this place here, Din Tai Fung. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How am I going to sit on the street with this? I think I'm just going to have to. Click and collect. Scan QR code to order now. I've scanned the QR code. I've got the menu here. So I'll see if they've got my... F I've been craving these throughout the lockdown. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're so good. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to do it. Um, the pickup time is quite slow. And um, <laughs> I, there's literally nowhere to wait and it's raining. So I'm... Not Oh, look at that makeup inside the mask, lovely. Also, the, the smallest amount that I can order is eight. And I, I don't think it's, I don't think I should eat eight. I can eat eight, but I don't think I should. And if they're in front of me, I won't be able to like not eat them basically, because they're my favorite, so. 
first time on a bus in 2021. I feel like I've got the whole of London to myself today. Right, been and picked up my dad. Yeah, now we're back at this place where I ordered the food Hi. from. Come in now. Yes. Excited, Dad? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm Me too. How quiet it is. Look how quiet. Yeah, it's so quiet in London. The news is over there. Look. Ever seen London like this? Never. My village is not busy. <laughs> Dad's village in Crete is busier than this. Oh, I'm not joking. I've been craving this for months. The greens that they do, and then I've got some more dim sum in there. Oh yeah. Thought we'd be in the middle of Covent Garden eating on like a little outside St Paul's Church. Outside St Paul's Church eating on a little lamppost thing. Okay, just taking my dad now to the eye clinic. I can't remember where the building was. I think it's number 22. Accompanied both you and Joel to this clinic. Oh, <laughs> what a day. Um, okay, it's now, it's now nine. 21 21 oh no 21 12 that was a long day in town i actually don't really have the energy to drive home um oh, let's get this face mask off i've sanitized as i left the station uh, i'm listening to this like jodie foster interview on um chris hardwick's podcast but yeah she's really um she's really quite private like she doesn't really do many long form interviews or anything not that I've heard of anyway. Um, so yeah, I was just really looking forward to having a listen to that on the train. Um, but yeah, what a day. Absolutely love accompanying my dad to his laser eye thing. But he did need someone to look after him whilst the vision was blurry a little bit after the laser. So glad I was able to chaperone him there. And then yeah, put him back on the train. We had a little bit of dinner together and um, I picked up my apple mac from the store they said it had been all fixed gosh it is blurry isn't it and then that was kind of it i'm forgotten how you switch on this car now but oh, i've got to drive myself home and get into the shower stick all these clothes in the wash because i've been on all the trains and everything i just feel so grimy like when you come back from london i haven't had this feeling in ages of just my skin feels gross not only that my camera is so blurry i'll just i'll switch it on when i get home another classic late night edit haven't got an outro so <laughs> au revoir everyone thanks so much for watching another video um yeah i i left out the kind of the hospital stuff from the previous video just because well i wasn't sure if i wanted to share and also the video before I had a brand partnership so I didn't want all of the comments to be about the hospital. I'm gonna go to bed now. Thanks so much for watching. Live stream on Saturday if you're watching this today as it's uploaded on a Thursday, maybe Friday morning. Um, live stream on Saturday, I'm trying to do as many as I can um, per month. I, I like to aim for two per month. Now that we're moving out of lockdown, it's hard to do them every Saturday so I'm starting to make real life plans on a Saturday. So yeah, uh, thanks again. And I uh, hope everybody's well. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye. When I dance alone and the sun's bleeding down, blame it on me. And when I lose control and the veil's over you,